This became a common sight in 2023. From healthcare workers to Starbucks employees. But it was the strike by the United Auto Workers against the so-called Big Three Detroit automakers, Ford, General Motors and Stellantis, that dominated coverage. Tonight, for the first time in our history, we will strike all three of the big three at once. So this strike against the Detroit Three automakers was historic and it didn't strike every plant. It took a really unique strategy with this sort of rolling, expanding strike where they would hit certain targets, wait a couple weeks, expand that strike to a few more targets and really keep the automakers on their toes so they didn't know what to expect. This was an auto strike like no other, and it was here in Belleville, Michigan, where a small piece of history was made as Joe Biden became the first sitting US president to join a picket line, an unparalleled show of support for organized labor. After arriving, Biden grabbed a bullhorn. You deserve the significant raise you need and other benefits. Let's get it! Right. Yeah. Get back who we lost, okay? Yeah. It was a huge, absolutely huge moment when President Joe Biden came to visit the UAW on the picket line, and it only happened because of the pressure and because of the aggressiveness of Sean Fain and the UAW leaders. In late October, tentative agreements were reached with all three automakers. The UAW won big, emerging with lucrative contracts that locked in raises in wages of at least 25%, as well as boosting retirement contributions and other benefits. What they were able to do again was show that if you're aggressive, if you're organized, and if you know what you want going into it, you can achieve significant gains. Labor's having a moment right now, and that's only gonna continue because of what the UAW achieved. According to data from Cornell University's School of Industrial and Labor Relations, there are almost double the number of strikes in 2023 compared to 2021. They included a strike by more than 75,000 healthcare workers at Kaiser Permanente, the country's largest non-profit healthcare organization. That too led to significant pay increases, a unique year of strike action and some major gains for workers. Dan Williams, CGTN, Belleville, Michigan.